Surface Preparation and Painting Tools for Paint Application Painting is a job which requires skill and correct technique. The brush should be held between the thumb and the first three fingers. Do not put your fingers on the on the bristles. The brush should be held in such a way that it will permit easy wrist and arm motion. Tools for Paint Application Flat Brush When painting bulk heads or any vertical surface, first paint horizontal strokes, and then in vertical strokes. Always paint the overhead first and work from the far comer. By working the overhead first, the bulk head can be kept free of drippings by wiping as the painting goes on. Tape if you want to paint a design on your bulkhead, or if you are planning to block off certain areas so that they don't accidentally get painted, then you need to invest in quality painter's tape. Drop cloth. No matter what kind of floor your room has, you are going to want to protect it from drips and spills. Accidentally spilling paint on your floor can quickly ruin it and cause you to have to replace carpet or get your wood floors professionally repaired. Extension Pole It can be very difficult to paint high up on a wall, either near the ceiling, or on a staircase, and if you are not comfortable getting on a ladder, or if you simply want to move the process along as fast as possible, then it's a good idea to purchase an extension pole. Stencil Brush If you are going to be using a stencil on machinery or bullhead to add detail to place, then it is important that you use the right brush for the job. Unlike other types of paint brushes that work in a brushing motion along the wall, a stencil brush is used to quickly and carefully dab paint onto the stencil. Roller One of the most important painting tools that you will need if you are going to be covering large areas of a room with paint edger is a roller. This tool will allow you to quickly cover entire walls in a fraction of the time that it would take for you to try to paint these areas with a paintbrush. Tray a tray is necessary if you are going to use a roller, as you will pour the paint needed into the tray and then insert the roller to pick up the desired amount of paint. Angled brush. Angled brush is used for painting areas not normally accessible to the conventional flat brushes. Sprayer. If you have a wide open space where you are going to be painting, and you want to make sure that you can complete the job as quickly as possible, then it is a good idea to opt for a paint sprayer.